Hello from Japan, Konnichiwa. And I will start this vlog with Park Hayat, Tokyo. And it's not an advertisement. <laughs> Maybe you're wondering why am I going here? And the answer, this is the hotel where Lost in Translation was filmed. I know that there are different feelings about the movie. I watched it long time ago about Japan and I just thought why not, why not to visit, it's kind of interesting. I think this panoramic windows is where Scarlett Johansson is sitting by and I just want to get a cup of coffee there and just see some of the places from the movie. Also at this point I just gave up on my hair because the humidity level <laughs> is next level. The humidity level is next level, great. I'm a journalist, right? This is the lobby where some of the scenes were shot. I can recognize it. And... Hello. Just gonna go on the top floor to get some coffee or tea or desserts. 41st floor. <laughs> Already used to this, to this with skyscrapers here in Japan. The 39th floor and the ballroom, Venetian room, drawing room. <laughs> Speaking about Porsche life, love the reception. Oh, the peak lounge. I made it and the view is amazing and I'm just waiting for my tea. Wow, just look at this. The view it's very rewarding so first i thought that coming to lost in translation hotel is a little silly but i know some people chasing spots from the movies and i quite like this movie so here i am <laughs> exploring how it is here i bumped into the library it's a huge hotel but looks very cool and sophisticated check out what Venetian opera is. So there is another lift with 52nd floor. It gets even higher. The view is so rewarding with the sunset. No, hi, 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 hi. Wish you could get out of the cage. There is a kitty cat. <laughs> Look at that shop. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my god, and there is a really big dog. Wow, it's so big. <laughs> wow. just wandering around and of course I ran into National Olympic Memorial <laughs> Youth Center like I just can escape the Olympics I'm just finding all those places and I don't know <laughs> it's kind of crazy I again came to the dog cafe and I'm gonna go and meet all these guys this time So the drink is not free in the end. It's the cost of the drink is this. It's this how much the drink costs. Hi guys, there are all kinds of Oh my god. You look my legs, you lick them. Okay. You look my legs. Oh, 
like that. It's my hair. You're a little bitey guy. <laughs> You're very comfy, right? Your someone is very comfy. And see like that. Someone is so comfy and see. Yes, we become friends. We became friends. We became friends like this, right? <laughs> okay, someone likes me. She came by herself and just sheets you. You're such a sweetheart. Okay, I found my love. This is it. This is the one. She came by herself, right? You came by herself, sweetie girl. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm in love. How can she be? How can one be so sweet like you? As you can see, I really have a hard time saying goodbye to these very cute dogs. I know that there is quite a bit of a controversy surrounding these cafes because a few people say that they are not very dog friendly, that in fact it's very difficult for dogs to meet so many people. But I have to say at Rio Puppy Cafe I didn't experience that. It was basically two rooms full of cute puppies and dogs. Some of them are grown ups already, which doesn't really matter uh, you can visit this place with 10 minute intervals and it's kind of easy just to drop in for a quick visit it has a drinks bar in another corner 350 yen per drink if you miss for friends just like i do i do recommend you to visit it in the meantime i decided to take famous hachiko bus in japan well it was actually very convenient it costs 100 yen only and it's way cheaper than any other public transport in japan so i decided Here let's do this the orange bus of happiness the two call bus and you can see the little Pachuco dog right in front was my ride on Hachiko bus. It was not that eventful, but I just thought I'll share about this service. It's kind of cute. I really like the idea that there is such a bus. One more question I have at the end of my vlog is about Lost in Translation movie. I obviously started my vlog about it and then one of my friends messaged me when I said that that's one of the movies I'm watching while in Japan. My friend who has Japanese heritage thinks that this movie is racist towards Japanese people, that it captures Japanese people unrealistically as cartoonish characters, that it's basically a white privilege movie and that it didn't age well, as it happens with many movies, for example, Friends series that I used to love. It's true that we can nowadays look at them through a critical lens and find a lot of things that are not so great, like Scarlett Johansson is super young and Bill Murray is way older, even though there is no straightforward romantic line between them. I have, yeah, I have mixed feelings about it. But I'm curious from Japanese perspective, did you watch this movie? What do you think about it? Is it really unrealistic picture of Japan or is it true to reality? Because one of my Japanese friends that I asked to watch it actually told me that the movie is not that far from reality. So, you know, 
I'm a white privileged person and I'm aware of that and I'm just very curious to know from anyone who watches it in Japan what are your feelings like about this movie and I hope no one has hard feelings about me going to the cafe this place allowed me to meet with one of my very close people and yeah that's why it's special it has a certain sentiment that is hard to describe but it means a lot to me so i hope you enjoyed watching my vlog arigato gozaimasu and see you in the next vlog write in comments what would you like to watch and maybe i will surprise you